Meta-analyses of studies investigating speech pathology treatments for aphasia after stroke confirm that treatment is effective, but there is a lack of comparative evidence for different interventions, and this limits prescription accuracy. In the COMPARE RCT, we aim to investigate the comparative effectiveness of two intensive aphasia interventions for people with chronic post-stroke aphasia, constraint-induced aphasia therapy plus, or SIAT plus, and multimodality aphasia therapy, or MMAT. SIAT plus aims to improve verbal communication through therapy that involves language games with an emphasis on speaking and limiting nonverbal communication including the use of visual barriers between participants. When participants are unable to produce target words and sentences, therapists provide spoken and written cues. MMAT also aims to improve verbal communication with the same language games as SIA+, but with an emphasis on enabling nonverbal communication. When participants are unable to produce target words and sentences, they're asked to write, draw and gesture to help produce those spoken words and sentences. We investigated whether SIAT Plus and or MMAT provided greater therapeutic benefit compared to usual community care and were differentially effective according to baseline aphasia severity. We conducted a three-arm, multi-center, parallel group, open label, blinded at endpoint phase three RCT. We stratified eligible participants by baseline aphasia severity on the Western Aphasia Battery Revised Aphasia Quotient. Groups of three participants of the same aphasia severity were randomly assigned to 30 hours of SIAT plus or MMAT therapy or to usual care. Participants in the SIAT plus and MMAT arms completed three hours per day, five days per week for two weeks for a total dose of 30 hours of intervention. Participants in the usual care arm continued to access any community therapy or groups they were already undertaking. We analysed 201 participants, 70 in SIAT Plus, 70 in MMAT and 61 in usual care. We used linear mixed effects regression models accounting for baseline aphasia and stroke severity to examine effects immediately post-intervention and a 12-week follow-up. Our primary outcome measure, aphasia severity, was not significantly different to usual care at post-intervention in either treatment arm. Word retrieval, functional communication, and communication-related quality of life were significantly improved following SIAT Plus and MMAT. Word retrieval benefits were maintained at 12-week follow-up. At post-intervention, SIAT Plus was superior to MMAT for word retrieval, and MMAT was superior to SIAT Plus for multimodal communication and communication-related quality of life. On average, SIAT Plus and MMAT were both effective for word retrieval, functional communication, and quality of life, while usual care was not. There was variability in individual responses to treatment, and future studies should explore predictive characteristics of responders and impacts of maintenance doses on long-term outcomes.